This is the solution video for section 5.4, problem number 8. Graph f double prime uh, for x between 3 and 9 using your calculator. Label the coordinates of high uh, endpoints, high points, low points, and zeros. Round all values to the nearest thousandth. All right, so you want to graph this on your calculator. 1 plus x sine x natural log x. All right, so uh, I'm going to go to my y equals 1 plus sine x. Uh, sorry, x sine x natural log x. All right, and then you also want to make sure that when you hit mode that you are in radians. All right, and then you want to go to your window and you want to set the x minimum to 3 and the x maximum to 9, right? Now, your y minimum, I don't know, let's just try like negative uh, 5 to 5 just to see, you know, what it looks like. All right, so obviously you can't see like the uh, local max and local min, so you probably want to change that. So let's make the y minimum negative 10 and positive 10 and see what it looks like. All right, so now um, I can almost see that, so I want to go a little bit higher up. All right, so y maximum, let's go to like 15 and see what happens. All right, so you adjust that. We can go a little bit higher, all right? Uh, let's go to 25. All right, so now we see all of that. All right, so this is what we want, all right, to, so you want to draw a picture of this, all right? All right, now we want to label, what does it say? Coordinates of endpoints, high points, low points, and zeros, all right? So uh, we want to be able to do that, all right? So remember, uh, zeros, high points, endpoints. Okay, so endpoints, right? We can hit uh, trace and then three. That's one endpoint, right? So we can get that endpoint, 1.465. All right, so. All right, so we've got this is 3 comma 1.465 all right uh, then let's go uh, find the endpoint at 9 so plug in 9 right and then we get 9.150 so this is uh, 9 comma and then what was it again uh, 9.150 All right, uh, and then we want zeros. All right, so second trace zero. All right, and so I'm gonna put my cursor all the way over here. So let's just uh, type three. So, okay, so that's one side and then uh, right bound, let's put four, right? So the zero is gonna be in between those two. All right, so 3.386 comma zero. So this one is 3.386 comma zero. All right, let's find the next zero. So second trace zero. All right, so that's going to be between, that's four, five, six, and seven. So uh, left bound six, right bound seven. All right, and so 6.1. Nine five, comma zero, six point one nine five, comma zero. All right, and then we want high points and low points, so local mins and local maxes. All right, so then I want second trace uh, minimum. All right, and so that's going to be between four and six. All right, and so that value is five point zero two four. So. 5.024 and what's the y value? Uh, negative 6.719. And then we want the local max. So second trace maximum. All right, and then that's going to be, be between uh, 7 and 9. So 7, 9. All right, and then 8.036 and 17.470. Uh, All right, so that is part A.
uh, or sorry, that is the intro part of A. So now, for what values of x is f concave up? Well, okay, remember, this is a graph of f double prime, right? So f is concave up when f double prime is greater than zero, right? So this is greater than zero, right? in that stretch, so from 3 to 3.386, and then it is also greater than 0 here from 6.195 to 9, right? Uh, find the x values of all local minimum values of f prime, right? So f prime would have a local minimum when f double prime changes from negative to negative positive, right? Local minimum occurs when a derivative changes from negative to positive, right? And so when does this graph change from negative to positive? That would be at x equals uh, 6.195, right? And find the x-coordinates of all points of inflection of f prime. All right, so uh, points of inflection of f prime, what would that mean? Well, that would mean what? That the second derivative of f prime, so that would mean that f triple prime changes sign, right? So f triple prime, that would be the derivative of this graph. So when does the derivative of this graph change signs? Well, the derivative of this graph is negative, then positive, then negative, right? So it changes signs at x equals 5.024 and x equals 8.03, uh, not 8, 8.036, right? So uh, that uh, is problem number eight.